Hi people, hi fellow humans, hi everybody. This is Hard Rock Grandma and I am on my way to Goodwill. Today is dollar days. Sorry if I'm yelling, my ears are plugged. Um, went to a football game last night with my husband. He works security at a high school and they said I could ride along with him in the golf cart. Well, one of my allergy things is grass, so that got me a little bit. And then we had a little bit of a dust storm. It wasn't huge, they didn't have to call off the game or anything. But it was just enough that today I sound like a, I've smoked for a hundred years. <clears throat> so forgive the sniffing and all that shit. And I always have a reason why I'm sniffing. You f sorry. <sighs> sorry, people. I, yeah, I'm the crazy lady talking to herself. I'm sure you guys haven't seen that before. Um, I have multiple personalities. And basically I have my driving personality and then I have my grandma personality. And neither one's super sweet. I do curse, but yeah, when I'm in the car, it is like Satan is behind the wheel. And I'm not an aggressive driver. Oh my God, this guy is me. See. Oh, thank you. Oh, now I feel like, now I feel like such a bitch. I feel like a bitch because he let me go first. He was nice. You can tell he's in a hurry too. <clears throat> all right, guys, I probably edited all that out, but you never know. All right, so I totally lost track of what I would do. Let me fix this mirror. I am on the way to Goodwill right now. It is dollar days and Monday through Wednesday at Goodwill, they have a colored tag. And on Monday, it goes 50% off. Well, when they get to Thursday, any of those colored tags say today may be brown or purple or whatever, they will be $1. So yeah, you can find pretty much the leftovers and there'll be a lot of, not a whole lot of people there, right at nine, but usually by 9.30, I'll spend a couple hours in there, and usually by 9.30, it's it's pretty packed. And everybody, but everybody seems to be nice. You watch, I just jinxed it. Um, there are, but I go to the Goodwill close to home. I don't like driving far. So I kind of stay in my neighborhood bubble, and I'm going to the Goodwill that's close to me. There are some that are probably about 45 minutes away that are much better. But this one, I just like to go and see what I can find. And if I have lots of stuff to list at home, so if I can't find anything, that's not, not a horrible thing. He's this, oh, my bad. The light's still red. <laughs> see, I'm just, like, I'm just like a bitch when I drive. Three, and it doesn't look too bad yet. So, oh, there's a lady already leaving. She didn't find any good stuff. And I do have my bag of goodies that I'm gonna return. So anyways, I'm gonna go in here, see what I can find for a dollar. And when I return, I will talk to you on the drive home. And then when I get home, I will show you what I purchased. All right, guys, guys. All right, people. I spent about an hour and 20 minutes in there. And I must say that is the most crowded I have ever seen Goodwill on dollar days. I got there at 9.03 and it was just absolutely nuts today. Hold this up, there's a lot of traffic and I just need to turn. All right, I'm going. These people kiss me. Use your brakes. Use your brake, bitches. Whee, we made it. No crash. Well, that'd make for a really good video. I'm just, just kidding. Um, all right, I'm at the post office, so I'm gonna run in here real quick and I'll be back. It'll seem like a second to you and I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm almost home. I'm gonna make another, I'm gonna add on to this, whatever. All right, guys, I'm almost home. So as soon as I get home, I'm gonna show you what I bought. Wait for it, wait for it. All right, guys, I am back from Goodwill. It is hot outside. It is crazy outside. I don't know what's going on. There just was people everywhere. I'm glad to be back inside my little house bubble. I, I love it here. I wish I never had to leave. But I spent $25 at Goodwill. Like I said, it was absolutely nuts inside Goodwill. I don't know what's going on. I hope that's not a sign to come, a, a sign for things to come because it was nuts. And I don't know if I could do that every Thursday. But let me show you what, oh, what I bought. First up is this Chaps women's jacket. I got it for a dollar. Um, it's really heavy. I'm sure it's over a pound. I tried it on, it is super warm. Like I could not stand to keep this on. 
and I have my thermostat set at 77 up here and usually it's comfortable but today it's just like it's hot or something um, I got this for a dollar I'm gonna list it for $17.99 it's gonna probably cost me about ten dollars to ship I'm pretty sure it's over a pound so not a lot of profit to be made but it is a cute little jacket let me show you the label be better profit if it weighed less than under a pound but yeah got that for a dollar next up is this profile lifestyle profile lifestyle and there was not a whole lot of these on ebay very nice shirt it is polyester it is a size 2 xlt but sometimes you go by brand and sometimes you go by the way it feels because this shirt is just absolutely it's it's like the softest blankie you ever i would use this as a blankie it is just it just feels that nice and yeah i love it so i got this for a dollar and i'm gonna ask 27.99 for this like i said there wasn't a whole lot of them on ebay next up i have this i'm just gonna call this vulcan vulcan i cannot say this word so this vulcan shirt um, they didn't go very good on eBay. As a matter of fact, the ones that had the brand on it at all didn't seem to sell. But it is a size extra large. I got it for a dollar and worst case scenario, I'll give it to my son. He just lost a bunch of weight, so he might like this. If he doesn't, then I'll take it back to Goodwill. It's one thing about paying a dollar. It's not a big loss if it's not a sell. This is retrofit and it's extra large. Really nice shirt. And I believe this is one that came from Buckle. I don't remember, I got a couple that were from Buckle. Maybe not. So yeah, it's a, a man, sh man shirt, retrofit. And I'm gonna list this on my store for $16.99. And if you guys wanna visit my store, I will put the link down below and you can visit. Visit my store, see what's up. And this is a Brandon Thomas leather jacket. It's got initials on it. That's how important it was to somebody. And when I was in Goodwill last Thursday, they had a bunch of these like suede leather jackets and all of them were missing the tags. Like somebody had gone through and I hate when they play games like that. I don't know what they think they're gonna do. Go up to the register and say, oh yeah, this had a purple tag on it and it fell off. Cause they're not gonna go for that. Um, so somebody had went through and put tags on it and luckily this was a dollar. It is a size small. It may take a little bit of time to sell, uh, but I'm gonna list this for $27.99. And I think this one may be under a pound. I don't know, let's see real quick. I don't know how accurate this will be. Mm, yeah, it's under, under a pound. So a little bit of profit made, a little bit of profit to be made there. I have to wait for the right buyer because it is a small, but it's really, really cute. It's in good condition, kind of a lightweight leather. This was the one that was from Buckle, and this is called a Pop Icon. Pop Icon men's shirt. There's the label, it is a Buckle brand. Buckle, buckle. And I couldn't find anything quite like it on eBay comps. It's got some embroidery there. Got some cat hair, anybody wants some. You have to preload your hair, your shirt with cat hair. You have to preload your shirt with cat hair or dog hair before you donate it to Goodwill. It's a rule. And I'm going to list this for $19.99. It is a size XXL. Well, that's what the tag says. Let me look with my own eyes. Yeah, I think so. I think it's an XXL. That's what the tag says. I don't have my glasses on. But I'll have to measure it because it honestly it looks like maybe an XL or an L. But I think buckle clothes kind of run small. This is another fail. I was really sad, guys. I got this, um, it's called Winlet, and I think it's a vintage jacket. And I'm really torn. I don't know if I'm going to list it or not, but I didn't notice, and I probably still would have bought it. The lining's ripped in it. And it does have quite a bit of wear. So honestly, I am super picky about what I list in my store. I don't know if you can see that some of the threads but honestly for a dollar I picked it up but honestly for a dollar I thought it was worth a shot you know maybe I'll learn how to clean leather or something in the process and this will be a good 
test jacket and I may just list it and then really disclose it. I, I don't like to list things that are ripped like that but it still could be worn. It's just a, such a shame because it is a really nice vintage jacket. And I didn't even write a price down. I think it was like 30 bucks with shipping which that's heavy. It's over a pound. This was a nice little jewel. Nice little jewel. And it is, I don't know if you can see it, the tags in the way. I don't like to take the tags off, guys, until I really inspect it. Because Goodwill will take returns for a week. So, honestly, I need to get one of those little, the thing that shoots these little things, then I can just put it back on. But this is a London Fog men's jacket. And I forget, oh, this is size 40. I really had to search for the size. But yeah, nice little jacket. It's vented. Ooh, it's like those fishing shirts. I'll have to look into this more. I didn't notice this. So it's vented in the back. And I think I'm going to list this for $24.99. It might be worth a little bit more if I look into it and see that it's something spectacular. This brand, they really didn't have any on eBay. It's called uh, ShopEileen.com, which I'm sure it's just Shop Eileen. But it's a cute little, just cute little, like wool look jacket and I don't think it is wool I looked at it before and god wish I had glasses just kidding it is a size small I don't think I don't think it's wool it might be but so cute little jacket it was one dollar one dollar did I tell you $16.99 is what I'm going to list that one at this is another one I didn't go by brand as much as I went by the look. And this is like an army green jacket and it is from Old Navy. But it is like a true army green. I know my husband has like, he's into military stuff so he's always buying that stuff. Plus he has some of his old military stuff laying around from when he was in the military. So yes, true army green. Um, just plain old Old Navy. But it's, can you see that? I can't see it. Oh my gosh, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see that. And I am going to list this for $21.99. I don't think it weighs a pound. It might. It's right on the cusp. It's on the cusp. Is that still a saying? Uh, this one I picked it up because it's really cute. The brand was on eBay, but I shouldn't say really cute. It's not my style, but it still is a pretty cool, cool little blazer. Um, this brand is... Nueve Mondi. I'm sorry, I'm not French. I never have spoken French, so buy something. And there's the tag. Got this for a dollar, but if you can see, it's just really nice. Got this like patchwork on it, and then the metallic threads going through it. Same thing on the front. Just some beautiful, 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 beautiful work. And I'm going to list this for $16.99. And I might bump that up a little bit. Just to see. This is a Wilson's Leather Women's Vest. And it's like a knit material on the back. And leather on the front. Um, I'm going to list this for $21.99. I don't know if it had a size. Exactly. Yeah. It's that size. It's that size. All right, guys. $21.99 in my store. I don't know if I said that already. This is a BKE men's shirt from Buckle. Total mall store. Had my phase when I used to just shop there all the time. BKE. And it's a nice striped shirt. Just a plain old cotton shirt. And I'm going to list this for $16.99. It's a good size. It's extra large. Looks more like a large to me. But get that listed. Uh, oops. Got my little uh, package. My cat likes to drag my little package tabs. You know, you rip it off so it can be sticky. She digs them out of the trash. These were a dollar and these are called... Got some glasses around here. All right. These are... Earth Spirit, Earth Spirit, Earth Spirit. And they're really cute, but honestly, they sold for like $20. $20. I paid a dollar. 
and shipping on these i'm sure they're over a pound so these are my daughter's size i'm gonna see if she likes them if she doesn't then i'll go ahead and list them but definitely see i think this is her style but sometimes i'm totally off on that if anybody has a daughter you can relate i paid a dollar for this this is a just a plain white sheet this is for me i love hanging this on the wall and it's a good backdrop for photos so i picked that up for a dollar this one I never heard of this brand, and it was kind of all over the place on comps, but it is a uh, Premier Studio. Psych! Premier Studio. Look at my my nails, my lovely nails. But it's just a really cute cowl neck. Look, it looks so cute with a pair of leggings. Sorry guys, I could stand on the camera. So that's why I got that. It was a dollar. A dollar, and I picked this up while I was waiting to get into the jacket aisle, which nobody was in. And I thought there was a lady in the jacket aisle, but she ended up being an employee. So I just shoved her out of the way. Just kidding. Cute little, like, blazer here, or shirt, shirt, button-up shirt. Got shoulder pads, more of a dressy kind of suit thing. It is Jessica Howard. Right, so everybody shout out hey Jessica Jessica Howard and I'm gonna list this for $18.99 getting down there guys this brand is a Montana Montana I know how to read I make it sound like a, like I don't know how to read but it's just I can't see it And it is just a cute little striped jacket. And I don't know if you guys know it, a lot of these pockets are temporarily, they like temporarily stitch them shut. And I read on the great wide web that a lot of times they do this so it keeps its shape. So you can choose to remove the stitching or leave it in place. So this hasn't even been clipped out. And I find a lot of clothes like that. So just an interesting fact, you guys probably already all know that. I'm usually the last one to find stuff out. So anyways, cute little just over jacket. Jessica Howard, no, this one's Montana. Wait, that was the last one. And I'm gonna list this for $16.99. I do believe it weighs under a pound. So I always measure everything when I list it or weigh it. I always weigh everything when I list it. And then that way I know if I need to bump it up or not. You definitely have that fine line. Now this was one that I bought and it said it needed a little work, but it was a dollar and this is Coldwater Creek but it is like a longer women's suede type leather jacket. And it's just really, it's just really nice. It was hard to pass up for dollars. See, they originally wanted $19.99 for it. It's got the LS initials in it, so I'm assuming somebody donated all of these at the same time. And it does need a little bit of work, but it, it is other than just a little, little tiny bit of dirt here and there. It is in really, really good condition. And I'm gonna list this for $29.99. It's definitely over a pound. So I can't even hold up in the air. It's wearing me out just trying to hold it up. That's how in shape I am. So I'm gonna list that for $29.99. But I'm gonna try to clean it up first, but I don't wanna ruin it. I'm gonna practice on the, the other one first. And I bought this for myself. This is zero. Oh my gosh, I am horrible with this. Zero Halliburton. And I need to clean this up a little. There's your shoulder pad. And I bought it for myself. There is the label. Really nice. I think I have a 17 inch uh, laptop and it fit in here. So 17 inch case. I paid $6 for it. And where's my post-it? No! Guys, I buried my post-it. I was gonna keep it, but um, the comps on eBay were $39.99, so guess what? I don't need a laptop case that bad. I'd rather have the money. So anyways, guys, I think for spending $25, I will definitely get my money back and then some. Um, I've realized in life it's much funner to make YouTube videos than it is to list stuff on eBay. So anyways, I shouldn't say that. But thanks for coming with me, guys. It's been a fun trip. I'm glad to be back at home. 
I'm glad to take this off. I'm going to go put on like a tank top because it is just miserable today. It's already September 6th, I think, and whew, it is, it rained, like I said, it rained all around us yesterday. It didn't rain here. It rained all around us, and yeah, so we just get the humidity, but all right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to go edit this, this video, and that's probably going to take me like six hours because I did a lot of babbling, and a lot of stuff needs to just be removed. So, removed from my life, story of my life, and you guys have an awesome day. Come back on Monday and see what sold for me this week on eBay. Thanks for watching.